have n list at the end of this uh, each input right where n is the depth of the tree right a couple of methods that we need to implement one is a serialized method which will take a node and for all the even levels right so that is the problem all about that i don't have a two i have a three i have a four i have a minus one are falling over here same goes for this guy 10 is falling over here this is falling over here a one right we just got a one so we are adhering to the answer as of now so now we started popping out from this stack so i see that it is two days apart so what i'm doing is uh, so what happens in a queue is from one end we queue things and from the other end what we do is we queue, we dequeue things so we get 20 and we add 20 is left child over here so we put 13 inside the queue is the minimum for the tens left there is no minimum it's it continues to get a null the complexity part so the both the run runtime complexity and the space complexity what i'll say the, in the worst case what it will be is order of n so this is basically means you are touching all the nodes that's present over here uh, space it will be order of 2 to the power of m right where m is the maximum depth of the tree so tree is 10 so you will have 2 to the power of 10 your worst case so, so we will have n complexity right loop over here right that will give you a clear understanding and this is just an ex extension of it right in the video on the level order traversal do adding to the queue and then we have added the element to the list right continuously do a pop on the event stack and we are going to get the elements out and what we'll be doing is we'll be first adding them doesn't look good but i want you to understand over here so we are passing the min and the max this means the number is already sitting in its right place also one thing that i forgot over here we also need a level indicator which will be initially at zero right so we are going to check there's no point in considering it but if it is not max what we are going to see we are going to check results.i if the same is zero, that means we are going to go ahead and calculate using maps dot tabs the value. Uh, though I don't recommend this kind of solution to be given during an interview, could be very tricky. The interviews are very stress time, right? When you're trying to um, uh, solve a problem within a certain period of time, we will recommend that uh, try to keep the solution simple during an interview. So, as we see over here, this is also a linear solution, and we are not doing so much of pointer here. And this kind of solution is a good candidate for an interview. But yeah, this kind of solution is also good to do. And if you, if you uh, during an interview, Check out this video, do try to implement them and try to solve the problem on your own in lead code or in any uh, IDs that you use, maybe IntelliJ or Eclipse, whatever you are using.